Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. If you are returning, thank you so much for being here and for supporting me. I couldn't do this without you. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and I am so happy you stopped by today as well. Today I'm participating in the minis challenge that is hosted by Corey with Crafted by Corey and I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here is DIY number one. So for this project, I used uh, one of the styrofoam floral round discs and some paint from Apple Barrel and Folk Art. And I start off by using this vegetable chopper, I think is what you call it, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I am just cutting that circle in half. And I had already uh, got a triangle. So actually, I think I ended up using maybe two of these um, foams. And I just cut it out um, to make more triangles. And I think I made six of them. Then I am taking my lemon custard acrylic paint and folk art. And I am painting the top part of this candy corn with that yellow color. And then after I was done with that, I took my Outrageous Orange from Apple Barrel and I am painting that middle piece with that orange. And then I will uh, do the bottom part with Snow White Apple Barrel acrylic paint. Hey, make sure you're following me on Facebook and Instagram at Rustic and Lace DIY. I'd love to connect with you over there. So once I was done with all of those, I'm not sure, where, I guess I am showing you the white now. I'm getting ahead of myself, I guess. <laughs> but once those were dry, I did go through and paint the backs of those as well. And then I just took some jute twine and I laid it out and I'm just going to um, take some hot glue and you'll see how I do that here in a minute. I have to fill my hot glue gun with some more glue <laughs> and I just uh, put it on the back side of that little candy corn and I am just um, attaching all six of them on that little string or twine I should say. Then I just tie little knots on the ends and that is done and so simple, so easy, and I think it's really cute, and I can't wait to put it up on my tear tray. You have to let me know what you think. Now, today's theme is fall or Halloween, and I really don't decorate for Halloween, so I thought it would be kind of fun to do maybe some fall treats for this um, video. So today's uh, challenge is a mini's challenge, and it's hosted by Crafted by Corey. Uh, she hosts this every month, and it's a lot of fun. I love making the minis. So if you haven't checked her out, make sure you go and check out her channel and check out the playlist. There are always amazing crafters on this challenge, and check them out and see what they created today as well. So this is DIY number two. So I started out with using some steel cut oats that we had. I had this apple that I had bought in previously from Hobby Lobby and some paint, some Mod, po Mod Podge, some parchment paper, and then a little uh, skewer or dowel stick. So I start off by pulling out that stem and then trying to poke this uh, <laughs> dowel piece into that apple. It wasn't very easy, so I did have to get my little knife out there and just kind of cut some slits in it just to make it... Um, poke through a little bit easier and so I just I kind of had to play with it a little bit and uh, just use a little bit of force on it and finally I got it to go through and then once I got it in there I decided to take um, my glue gun and just push put a little bit of glue all around uh, the, the end there just where you see it um, just to make sure that that stick stays then I took my paint, and this is called Yellow Oatry, or I don't know how you say that, but it's a yellow color from Folk Art. And I am going to 
add some Mod Podge to it. Now my I was getting to the end of my bottle, so I had to scoop it out with a spoon. But this does not change your colors. Um, and I just mix this up really well. But as I was mixing it, I realized I didn't really like the color. It looked too mustardy. So I took some of my coffee latte that I got from Folk Art, and I'm mixing that up. And I ended up adding a little bit of chocolate bar from Apple Barrel to it as well to get the color that I wanted, which looks more like caramel. So then I just take a paintbrush and I'm just going all along the edge with that brush, just kind of making an edge for myself. And then I just paint the whole bottom part of that apple with that paint. Now the Mod Podge mixed in with the paint helps it to stick and adhere better. And it also gives it a shiny coat because I use the glossy. Then once that was done, I wanted it to look like, you know how caramel apples have the little bit on the bottom? Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to look like. So I'm trying to put some on my parchment paper there and then I just stick the apple down and I just let that dry for quite a while. But I do end up when I trim it, I leave the parchment paper on the bottom. So once it was all dry, I took some more Mod Podge and I'm just going over all that caramel part, caramel part. <laughs> And then I'm going to add those steel cut oats um, to that Mod Podge so that they adhere to that apple. And that way it looks like your little nuts on your caramel apple. And then after that, I just took some buffalo check ribbon from Dollar Tree and I just created a bow to go around my stick. Hey, if you guys are enjoying what you see and would like to help support my crafting addiction, you can buy me a coffee. There's a link for that in my link tree in my description box below. But just know that you don't have to do that, but it would only be appreciated. But if you want to um, support me, you can do that by watching the videos, watching the ads, sharing, liking, commenting, all that fun stuff. So there it is. And I think it looks good enough to eat. What about you? <laughs> I'm going to be hungry for caramel apples all the time now. Every time I look at that. <laughs> okay, here is DIY number three. And this, uh, every time I look at this, I want coffee. So I took the rest of that paint that I didn't use on the apple and I just spritzed it with some water to make it a little more runny. And then I took this cup that I got from Dollar Tree around Christmas time last year. And I know I've seen um, seen, the, seen them since. They'll probably have some more, I would hope, this um, Christmas. But I am just swirling all the paint around. I probably could have added a little more water to that to make it a, a little more loose. But um, I just swirl it around until I get the inside all covered. Then I took a piece of cardboard and I traced the top on it so that I could uh, use this as the topper of the cup. And I'm using this caulking that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going around it, um, all the way around it to make whipped cream for my top. And I, I ended up having to cut a bigger hole because it was really hard to squeeze out. And But once I cut the bigger hole, it came out a lot easier. And I just kept going all around, just kind of building upon itself as well. Sorry about the angle of this. My camera kind of switched angles on me, but I just took a little plastic spoon and kind of smoothed out some of the edges to make it look a little more like whipped cream. And then when it was like I wanted it, I did stick a cinnamon stick in there and then I put cinnamon all over and then I made a little bow for the bottom and there it is. It looks so yummy. I wanted this to be a hot apple cider, but really it looks more like a pumpkin spice latte to me. <laughs> okay, and here is the next one. I just think this is so cute. And I used this coffee latte paint from Folk Art. And then I printed something out from the Cricut Design Space. And then I used that little calendar that I got from Dollar Tree. I start off by using my little Cricut spatula to break um, that little box off of the bottom part of that cup. It ends up pretty much pulling off the paper that was on that, which is fine because I was going to cut it off anyways. So once I get this cut off, I'm going to, I, my OCD, I couldn't handle seeing that paper there. So I started ripping it off, even though I didn't need to. 
And then I realized, oh, I need to take this off the back of this little cube too. So I did that as well. And then when I was done, I took my little knife there and I am just scoring right where the cup and that little base meets. And I'm just scoring it and scoring it and scoring it until it finally snaps. And you'll see, I do turn it around here in a minute um, and score the other side. And then I finally get it to come off. Now, it's not hard to score these things. Um, it just sometimes it takes a little bit of time uh, to get it off. And there we go. So once that was off, I decided to use my Waverly Chalk Paint in the color plaster. Now, I was going to use that coffee latte, but then I realized uh, some of the words on my saying kind of matched that color, and I didn't think it would show up very well so I decided to go ahead and use plaster and I just painted the front of that cup with that plaster color color and then I went ahead and I am putting that saying on the front and this saying gave me all kinds of troubles there was a lot of little pieces to it and I don't know it just it wasn't very easy but I finally got it on there and so as soon as I get this all on there I am going to take um, a pumpkin sticker that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place it right there on top. And I did go over those words once I got them on there with some Mod Podge as well. Then I decided to take that coffee latte because I still wanted to have some of that on my cup and I'm just outlining the whole cup with it. And I love it because it kind of makes it give you that coffee feel. Um, if you will. So I just went around the whole cup with that. And I think it is so cute. I can't wait to put this next to my coffee area. So then after that was dry, I took some paper and I'm just trimming it out and I will cut it out. And then I will glue it to the back of that cup because I wanted to, it's going to be on probably on my tear tray. Um, and I didn't want to take the chance of anyone having to see that ugly paper on the back. So <laughs> I'm just using my Mod Podge there and I'm just going to brush it all around the back. And then I add the paper to that. So that way um, you have something pretty to look at. And then once that is on there, I take that little uh, square piece that I had taken off that originally held the calendar and I just hot glue that on to the back and that now becomes the stand for the cup so that it will stand um, on its own. I almost put it too high. Did you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness. And that was that. That's how easy it was. And I just think it's really, really cute. And I love the scene. And now I want some pumpkin spice lattes. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is going to kill my diet having all these goodies on my counter. <laughs> okay, so here is the next DIY. I took four of those round styrofoam pieces that you can get from the Dollar Tree in the floral department. And then I took some paint and I did the same thing as I did with those candy corn. I took my little, um, I don't know if they call it a vegetable cutter or I don't know what they call it, but that little thing there, I got that from Dollar Tree. And I'm just cutting out triangles out of each one of those. Talking about that little tool, I grabbed some of those last year before Christmas and I actually made a really cool sign with them, with my grandson who was here visiting at the time. So um, yeah, it's amazing what you can use items for. So once I had all the little triangles, oh, there was four of them. After that first one, I used that as a template to um, sketch out where I wanted to cut the rest of them. And then I just went ahead and cut them all. And then after that, I took my paint in that yellow okri, Orchard, orchard, I don't know what it's called, but folk art. I'll have it in my description box so you can see how it's spelled. And I'm just painting the bottom edge of, of one of those and I paint the whole back. Now, this morning I woke up thinking about this and I thought, oh, I should have painted around the bottom like this 
on all of them because this is supposed to be the crust. And that way they would have all looked like single slices of pie on top of each other instead of one big huge pie. So I might have to go um, back and just kind of do that. I think I might actually um, just put a little coat around it so that it looks like individual slices of pie because that's what I was going for. Then I took my coffee latte and my outrageous orange and I mix them together and um, to just kind of get uh, some uh, more of a pumpkin color. And I just kept mixing the colors until I got a color that I liked. So once I did that, then I painted um, the one that I just painted the bottom crust for. I do paint the sides of it, but I paint the sides of each of those triangles and the back. And then our, on one of them, I painted the very top um, because I'm going to be gluing them together. So I didn't think they needed to paint, be painted on all of it. So there you can see, I'm just checking to see which piece is which. So I just start layering them and I just use hot glue to attach them. Now you do want to be careful not to put too much because you don't want to melt the styrofoam. And then once those were attached, I had printed out this saying on my Cricut, but I didn't think the vinyl would attach to the uh, styrofoam very easily since it was rough. So I just went ahead and put it on some cardstock and then I'm just hot gluing the cardstock on each slice as you see there and see I think it would look much better if it looks like there's crust on each one of those so I think I might have to go back and just touch it up a little bit so I love this saying I I was gonna say um oh I can't remember what saying I was gonna use but then I thought how about you're the pumpkin to my pie I just thought that was very sweet and pumpkin pie is my favorite pie. I love pumpkin pie. So yeah, there goes the diet, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so once I got those all on there, I took some jute twine and I just made a little bow. Also, I took my chocolate bar apple barrel paint and I did brush on some of that on the very top. So it kind of has those darkened areas like pumpkin pie has. And then here is where I just go in and I add my little bow. I know pumpkin pies don't have bow on it, but mine I thought needed it. So <laughs> there it is. So you have to tell me what you think. Let me know what you think of all of these today and make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, share with friends, watch those ads, and make sure you check out Corey's um, channel as well as the playlist and see what else everybody else came everybody else came out with. Ah okay guys. <laughs> I'm tired. I've done two videos in one day, so I think it's time to rest. So with all that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.